Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Jennifer Vanderbeek with scrapsoflife.com and this is our creative week. Uh, today is Saturday, the 28th of October. And uh, yeah, it's been an interesting week. <laughs> so some of the things that I had anticipated happening this week did not happen. Um, but let me back up for just a moment. Um, so last, my last video I made on Saturday, um, Sunday, I went to the writing group and I read the first couple of chapters um, from my upcoming, at some point, I don't have a date yet, um, book five in the Cozy Mystery series. Um, once again, I got, um, I... I don't want to take it for granted that I am getting this feedback, but um, once again, I got complimented on the dialogue, the pacing, um, the, you know, the structure, even the structure of the chapters, you know, ending it kind of on a little mini cliff or, you know, just kind of something that makes you want to read more kind of thing. Um, so the things I am good at, I am still good at. That is awesome. Um, and for it being my first draft that had not been edited, the um, copies that they looked at before the meeting, you know, they had an opportunity to read it before I read it aloud. Um, you know, <laughs> they said, there aren't even that many typos. I'm like, hey, yay. Um, and uh, so, I mean, it was good. It was, it was a little nerve wracking that, you know, I had to read in front of people that I'm still getting to know. But it was good. All good. Um, <laughs> good to have the good feedback. Now, um, one of my partners did did uh, ask me when we talked later. He goes, "Oh, this is great, but how does that make it sell more books?" And he's right. He's absolutely right that just because I can write well, just because um, my stories are entertaining doesn't automatically equal book sales. It's not, if you write it, they will read. Um, I really need to be doing more. And this is of course not new, but I really need to be doing more to promote the dog on books and to get new readers and, and to build that group of fans. And, um, ah, that has been my sticking point this whole time. And I know that. So it really is coming. I really do need to start buckling down. I did. I made a list. I I pulled up some old files that I had of like, you know, uh, different ways to, you know, promote books or different ways to engage as a writer um, in social media, on social media. And, and so those are things that I really need to put in practice. So that's, that's going to happen. Um, that, I made the list. I thought about it, but then I didn't get very far on it because I'm trying to wrap up a couple things. Um, Monday was meal prep. So, you know, that is creative, creating meals, creating menus, um, you know, preparing food. That's absolutely creative. Um, even if you're following someone else's recipe, I just want to reiterate that because I say that a lot because people are like oh well I mean I haven't done really anything really special I'm following someone else's directions or I'm using this person's recipe you still did it you created something from uh, from things that were not it okay that counts as that is creative that is creating um it all kind of scratches that itch inside of us I don't know that I really like that um, analogy, but we're going to, we're just going to, your metaphor, we're just going to roll with it. Anyway. <laughs> and then Tuesday. Tuesdays are kind of hit or miss. Tuesdays can be really good, but whereas Mondays don't really bother me, Tuesdays, especially, you know, with work and everything, um, in an office setting, Tuesdays. Yeah, th those, those I was not fond of. <laughs> but Tuesday morning, I woke up to two emails that have had an impact on me. Um, one was good news, one was not so good news. I'll start with the not so good news because it explains why, well, hmm, a few things. So <laughs> the unfortunate news was that one of the members of the Sunday writing group had been diagnosed with COVID, which means we were all now exposed, which means, yeah, I'm not... <laughs> 
<laughs> at that point, I was um, just under two weeks from the anniversary cruise that I'm going on or supposed to go on. Um, so I was like, oh, no. But it also meant, you know, anything I had planned this week or this weekend, including the Halloween party. So very sad panda over here. Um, I did finish my costume. I have some pictures to show you in a bit. But uh, yeah, not going to that Halloween party. It's kind of a bummer. And while I will say um, I've had no symptoms and I did take a COVID test this morning because the current guidelines say, you know, 10 days of, of, of isolation after five days with the exposure date being day zero. So, you know, mm, um, after five days, you know, if you don't have symptoms, you can take a test on day six, I think is what I read. And so that's what I did. Um, my test was negative. So technically I can be out and about in the world as long as I'm wearing a really good um, face mask um, for the next four days because there's a 10 day window. So um, I had had some stuff planned uh, for like Monday night. Yeah, not going to not going to do that. Um, I'm not even sure if I'm comfortable like handing out Halloween candy, you know, um, I just eh, I may, you know, we we might just set the bowl out side and let people you know grab it themselves and what's left what is what's left kind of thing um yeah so that was the bummer the good news however is really good and oh gosh i'm ah i just <laughs> i yeah i'm a, i'm still a little ooh, about it um so i I think I, I know I've mentioned that before I went to Arizona, I put in, um, it wasn't really a proposal. It was a letter of inquiry or letter of interest um, for a 2023 or 2024 um, exhibition slot at the uh, downtown location. It's a coffee shop that um, uh, volunteers their walls uh, for uh, the Center for the Arts to host you know, ongoing exhibits. I put that in and I thought at first that they were going to be sending out, you know, acceptances or, you know, we want more info um, at the end of September. And I hadn't heard anything. So I was like, I uh, guess I didn't get it. And I'd kind of like, well, there's still chance, but you know, okay, this is not, it, it's, I kept telling myself, this is not a no, this is a not right now. You know, I can still, you know, there's, there's, there's still wiggle room. I can ask for feedback or whatever. Um, but then I was, when I was looking on the center's website, I did notice that they had an October 31st deadline um, for two different types of uh, exhibitions. And so I was like, oh, well, maybe they extended the deadline. Maybe, maybe they're just taking more time. So I'm like, I didn't even send them. I, I had thought that I would send an email. It's like, hey, just checking in kind of thing. But I was like, no, I'm just going to, I'm just going to wait. But the email I got on Tuesday said that, yes, they were interested. Um, I don't have any more details than that because um, November it, here in Thomasville is uh, the month of especially the latter half, but I think there's stuff going on a good chunk of the month uh, for the Wildlife Arts Festival. It's a big deal here. And um, yeah, I, they're all wrapped up in that, but they just want to let me know that yes, they are interested. And ideally they want to pair me with another artist. So it would be a joint show, but I am okay with that. <laughs> I have no problem with that. In fact, I knew that that was a possibility because they're like, you know, we may like, you know, depending on the types of, you know, of interest we get. And, you know, it just makes sense sometimes to put two or maybe even three people together in a show. And so I'm okay with that. That was perfectly in line with my goals. Um, so it's, it's kind of up to, uh, I told her that I was fine with that. And so it's the other artist that says, you know, are they cool with that or not? But I won't know more information about like the win and, and all of that until end of November or maybe early December when we talk about it again, but oh, that email was so validating, <laughs> and it also means that I got to get you know get the let out and really you know finish up some of my work. Um, hey, did you notice behind me? It's not chaos. I mean, okay, so it looks it's still a little it's busy because it's a workspace, but I cleared off the, I cleared that off. Um, 
creating flat surfaces where there was stuff piled up absolutely counts as creativity because we have to get creative enough to figure out what we're going to do with some of that stuff. <laughs> I've been meaning to do it for ages, but yeah, executive dysfunction. So anyway, I got those two emails on Tuesday, you know, immediately started sending out, you know, uh, you know, it's like, oh, I'm going to have to, you know, got this news, got to cancel plans for this, that and whatever. Um, but it turned out it was a good thing because Todd had to bring his car into the shop. And so he was able to use my car. It was not a problem. So I didn't go to studio hours on Wednesday. I didn't go, um, you know, I haven't done anything else like that. Um, but, uh, I did get some drawing done. So let's, let's, let's flip over here. Okay. Um, so I did, you've seen some of this, sorry, hold on. <coughs> pardon me, I, my throat's just dry from talking. Um, so I did finish some more um, illustrations, which if you follow me on Instagram or the Facebook page for Scraps of Life blog, um, you may have seen some of these. And then there's a couple, you get a sneak peek if you're seeing this. <laughs> I have two more left to finish for the entire month. And it's been a while since I've done an entire Inktober. Um, and I definitely think that sketching and coming up with the ideas ahead of time was definitely a, a smart thing for me to do. I need some water. Hold on. <laughs> it's all... It's always when you start talking to somebody um, that your mouth goes dry or whatever. Anyway, the other thing I said I was going to show you a picture of here is my Halloween costume. Oops, didn't mean to move that. I forgot that this was the <laughs> movable file. But anyway, you can see all of the, um, the leaves I attached to the dress, uh, the, um, the painting that I did on the fabric. And then, of course, I'd already shown you the, the headpiece. So, yeah, I did get it finished. I had Todd take a couple pictures of me. Um, so there it is. Um, like I said, I'm hoping to be able to, or, oh, I said this during a stream, because I did do my both my Twitch streams this week um, as planned. Um, yeah, I, I'm hoping that an occasion will come up that I have a reason to wear it. Right now, it's just hanging up with my other costume piece upstairs in the guest room slash closet um i haven't done any more embroidery or stitching i have been thinking a lot about my sculptures though um right now i'm using air dry clay because it's accessible and simple um and you know clay is i don't have to bake it i don't have to you know get kiln access somewhere it's all good however um, it's incredibly fragile and a little top heavy sometimes like Gerald, Gerald looks great, but you know, he can, he can tip really easily, which I'm going to solve that for him with a base that he's going to be anchored to, um, when he goes back on display for the, the show that to be dated later. Um, but what I've really been thinking about is switching to paper mache for the heads and this would actually work well for some of the other projects I have in mind um because not only is it just as sculptable just as moldable um but it's lighter weight um which is is good for displays it's kind of it's easier to maybe balance some of the um pieces um it is more durable um in that you know, if it gets bumped, if it gets jostled, even if, heaven forbid, it gets knocked over and falls to the floor, generally it's not going to shatter into a million shards and crumble. Um, and it allows me to incorporate more upcycled materials, which is definitely, definitely a good part. Um, I've got an idea for, of course, I'm going to do a monkey at some point, right? Um, but I kind of wanted it almost like a shelf sitter or something or where it's kind of like leaning down, being all inquisitive. And if I have a clay head on that, I'm going to have to anchor that sucker like nobody's business. Whereas if I'm using paper mache, it's a lot more feasible. Um, and there's just, there's just a lot of other reasons. So 
that's been an interesting kind of it's I don't have anything to hold in my hand to show you for it, but these are the types of things where creativity goes on while we're doing other things. Like I did a lot of laundry this week. Um in preparation of, you know, I need to pack to go on the cruise at the end of next week. And uh, yeah, so I mean, it's just like, but these are the things that I think about while I'm drawing or while I'm working on on other projects or while I'm, you know, cooking or whatever. And they're just as valuable as anything else, as any other part. In fact, there's been a lot of projects that I've done where it sits in the back of my head and I kind of turn it over and turn it over and envision, you know, like I walk myself through all these parts of it. And I find sometimes, you know, more efficient ways to do something or um, streamline the process or kind of refine things before I've ever done anything. Maybe I've sketched out something or taken some measurements, but yeah, before I actually start using the materials, yeah, it's, it's been done a few times in my head very often. And I find that to be very useful. Now there is something to be said for just diving in and going for it for sure. But, um, but yeah, so that's something else that I've been really contemplating about the, um, sculptures themselves um and i i'm i'm liking that thought that thought is really appealing to me so i have to do i have to do a little more searching because you know we growing up it was newspaper strips and you know a mixture of flour and water i want to make sure that there's you know maybe there's a better thing to use than like just flour and water for the paste you know maybe there's something better about that um but again, because I don't, I don't, <laughs> I, I don't want, you know, to it to attract bugs. I don't want it to mold. I don't, you know, I, of course we don't want anything. Sealers and varnish, varnishes might be the answer there. But uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to do some, uh, some digging on that. But yeah, so that's my, that's been my week. Um, again, thankfully, I am still healthy. <laughs> The weather ups and downs are, you know, kind of irritating my sinuses a little bit, which of course doesn't help when you're like on the lookout for COVID symptoms. And I certainly, everything else notwithstanding, I don't need to get COVID a third time, knock on wood. Um, But yeah, hopefully, hoping, praying, crossing fingers, toes and everything else um, that I will continue to not have COVID so that uh, Todd and I can... Uh, go on our anniversary cruise as we've planned. Um, I would feel horrible if 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 something happened, and you know, I put the kibosh on his vacation, his first like real vacation in ages. Um, and yeah, so cross fingers. Um, if that's the case, though, I'll probably be putting up a. Um, let's see. How will I do the next update? I could do it Friday morning before we leave. Um, That might be the best thing, uh, depending on what I have to show for the for the upcoming week. But um, I also could, of course, just do it on my um, my cell phone and upload it before before we leave leave port or whatever. Um, We'll see how that goes. Uh, but it'll probably be Friday morning. <laughs> of course, I'd probably schedule it, still schedule it for Sunday just to keep some regularity or consistency, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. Um, I hope you have a fun and safe Halloween if you uh, engage with that ho- holiday at all. Um, for those of you who will undoubtedly be diving into Christmas everything as soon as Halloween is over, if not, you know, if you haven't already. I wish you well on that. I, you know, I prefer to wait until after November, after Thanksgiving, but I understand that that's not the case for everybody. Um, and you know what? That's okay. To each their own. Enjoy what you enjoy. Um, I have enjoyed the pumpkin spice season. We'll continue to enjoy it a little bit longer, but then I am not, uh, I am looking forward or I'm not not looking forward to. Um, I am looking forward to the pumpkin, uh, pumpkin or not pumpkin, peppermint uh, mocha season 
as I consider it uh, equally as much. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. And uh, until next time, take time for yourself, take care of yourself, and do something creative. It's, uh, chances are it can help you a lot. Hey, until next time. Bye-bye.